Hi, I'm Kat, and today I'm showing you how to make this miniature pedestal sink. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, or a comment below. And if you don't like it, well, there's going to be another two videos on sinks on this channel in the coming months, so stay tuned. The towel bar, the soap dish, the backsplash in the mirror will be featured in a later props video, so stay tuned for those too. Now I'm using a model for this particular sink. It's the Colaire K2268-8-0. And I went on ahead and got the specs from a Home Depot website and then transferred them into miniature size. So to make this, I'm going to use an extra jumbo popsicle stick, a piece of a jumbo popsicle stick, several popsicle sticks, a matchstick, and several different skinny sticks and or coffee stir sticks from Trader Joe's, Michael's, Walmart, Whole Foods, and mail order. So to start off, I'm going to use a popsicle stick that I'm going to cut into two lengths of two and a half inches. And then I'm also using two skinny sticks from Michael's that I'm going to cut into four lengths of one and one quarter of an inch. Glue the one and one quarter of an inch pieces together in groups of two and glue all four of these pieces to make a frame. Next I use an extra jumbo popsicle stick cut in a one and a quarter inch piece and also several popsicle sticks cut in trapezoids with the longest being one and three quarter of an inch on the longest side and two others being one and one eighth of an inch. I know it says one and a half but disregard what it says. Glue those together into a box that slants outward and glue that to the frame. Then I use some caulk because I want this to be waterproof and I'm going quite liberally around the outside cracks. On the inside I'm also putting some additional caulk there because this is where it's going to really matter except this time I'm going to use a q-tip to make sure it's spread evenly on every surface along the top and the inside. Now this is silicone caulk found at any Home Depot or at Walmart. Now um, this one dries clear but there is also some that dries white which will save you quite a bit on the painting time. Next I'm going to use some popsicle sticks cut to the length of the sink. So again approximately two and a half inches and I'm going to position that right there between the basin and the outer rim of the sink. This is just a support beam so don't worry about it really showing. Only a small portion of it will show. Next, I'm using these curved coffee stir sticks that I acquired at Whole Foods. If you don't have any of these kind of coffee stir sticks, you can always get the, use the regular coffee stir sticks or skinny sticks. It doesn't really make a difference. What makes a difference here is that these are actually beveled on the inside. So you see I cut them into a small trapezoid shape. Now they bow outward just a little bit, and that's why I'm using them in this case. But again, it's not a necessity. Next, I use the file, and I'm not showing this, to file the portion of the support inward just a little bit. And I'm also going to use skinny sticks to add on to the bottom to put a little lip there. I also glued some additional skinny sticks on the inside as support, but I ended up not needing them. And then I used a small one and one eighth piece of a jumbo popsicle stick. And again, this is just support. It keeps all the inside pieces from not being completely hollow. And I used more of the curved or bowed coffee stir sticks cut in an angle to put in there. And then some skinny sticks, again as support, to go on the inside of that. Next, I'm going to use this extra jumbo popsicle stick. And I'm going to cut this into two equal pieces that are two and a quarter inch long each.
draw it so it bows inward from the bottom to the top and it should be about a half an inch at the narrowest point and then just score along that line and snap it off now I didn't do a good score so it didn't do a good snap but you get the idea then trace one on top of the other and repeat that same cut and snap process glue both pieces on the inside of your sink right there in that little box and on the outside the form the sides I'm going to use four coffee stir sticks and normally I would wet these to bend them but because it's such a small curve I'm not going to wet them at all I'm just going to go ahead and flex them a little bit to put the curve in place glue them at the bottom and then use super glue to attach them firmly to the inside curve and then to finish off the sink I'm using coffee stir sticks to form a small frame around the base I'm also using some coffee stir sticks right there on the inside. This is just to keep those four sticks that are glued together from bowing out. And at the very bottom to finish it off, I'm going to glue on four additional pieces around the ends, around the edge of the bowed coffee stir sticks that I got from Whole Foods. Next, I'm going to go on ahead and finish finishing this with some white paint and it took me about three or four coats to get that um, paint the get that pen mark covered so just be warned and then I'm going to use a matchstick that I've sectioned off into one and a quarter inch pieces and I'm filing those into a trapezoid shape place those on top of small squares cut from a coffee stir stick and then use another piece of coffee stir stick that you can cut into like four or five little pieces you're not going to use all of them but that's about how thin you need it to be use two of the pieces as handles for your handlebars and then to form a faucet I'm using these bent pieces from my patio furniture video these were soaked in water for overnight and then they curved but I ended up not using them for the piece that I was working on so now they're just leftovers in my scrap pile and I glued these together and I allowed them to dry then I'm adding on a small piece from a third stick just to make it so that it's kind of a square at the bottom and then it flows into a rectangular shape at the top it just gives it a little more of a modern design clip that in place to hold it tight and then once it's dried you can go on ahead and file out the little cut piece so that it forms a smooth transition from three pieces to two pieces don't forget to go on ahead and sand the sides the top the bottom and every other piece and add another piece from that coffee stir stick to the very back this is the little pull for the drainage also a square of a coffee stir stick at the bottom and then a small piece of aluminum that I cut into a teeny tiny little circle and I'm putting on a little dimensional magic at the top if you don't have dimensional magic you can use a half pearl a half a bead um, a dot of glue whatever else you have handy then just start gluing the pieces together now I'm actually using super glue to glue these because I need it to hold fast and I painted these with uh, testers model paint the enamel paint that you get in the um, model car section at Michaels And there you go a waterproof sink oops wait I forgot this because this is a waterproof sink I didn't want to drill holes in for drainage so I'm using a sharpie just to mark them in place you can elect not to do this it's barely seen and that's it you're done thanks so much for watching guys bye